This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 9921002. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box. Then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrows in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click the Handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar. Or send an email to chuck at valerin-group.com to report it. You may also call 813-527-1276. Staff will do their best to assist you. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail, at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-414. 4753, or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. As mentioned, the project is in Orange County on Orange Blossom Trail, US 441, at the intersection with Orono Way and Sprint Boulevard in the city of Apopka. The financial identification number, or FPID, for this project is 9921002. The purpose of this project is to increase safety at the intersection and improve traffic flow. There is currently a full median opening at the intersection. Proposed improvements include converting this full median opening to a two-way directional median opening. We are making these changes to increase safety, improve traffic flow, and reduce the number of conflict points following an intersection study completed in August 2019. This study found that there were five crashes in a one-year study period leading to the changes that are being proposed. Drivers in the median waiting to turn eastbound onto Orono Way or westbound onto Sprint Boulevard cannot clearly see approaching northbound or southbound vehicles on Orange Blossom Trail. Motorists looking to turn left onto Orange Blossom Trail often obstruct views while pausing perpendicular to traffic within the median sometimes sticking out into the travel lanes. Additionally, vehicles in the median can create conflicts when pulling out into traffic, as those in turning lanes may block their line of sight. 
Often this problem is increased when additional cars pull into the median as a midpoint in crossing when cars are already present. One of the most important responsibilities of the Florida Department of Transportation is to ensure that the design of each state road properly balances access and mobility. Access management is used to provide this very important balance. A basic principle of access management is to limit the number of conflict points along a roadway by minimizing the number of driveways and median openings and restricting certain movements at some median openings. In some cases like this one, converting a full median opening to a bi-directional median opening, which only allows left turn or U-turn movements, can reduce conflicts and crashes. So what are conflict points? Conflict points are locations along a roadway where the paths of two vehicles can legally cross, just not at the same time. Each conflict point is a location where a crash can occur. Currently, there is a full median opening at the intersection of Orange Blossom Trail and Orno Way Sprint Boulevard. Drivers staged in the median, intending to turn eastbound or westbound, cannot clearly see approaching northbound or southbound vehicles on Orange Blossom Trail. While waiting to turn, drivers can block the inside through lane of Orange Blossom Trail. Eastbound and westbound left-turning drivers can block the sight line for northbound or southbound left-turning vehicles waiting in the median opening. The proposed improvements aim to reduce these points of conflict. The proposed safety improvements at the intersection of Orange Blossom Trail and Orno Way Sprint Boulevard include converting the full median opening at this intersection into a two-way directional median opening and modifying directional signage and pavement markings. These median changes will reduce many potential vehicular conflict points with the proposed configuration, making the roads safer for all users. In addition, these practices increase mobility and efficiency, reducing congestion and allowing more vehicles to safely navigate the roadway. In a survey of drivers across five Central Florida projects, including access management changes, 78% said they felt safer and 84% felt that traffic moved better. Once complete, left turns will not be permitted from Orno Way or Sprint Boulevard onto Orange Blossom Trail. The two-way directional median opening will still permit left turns from motorists traveling northbound and southbound, as well as U-turns on Orange Blossom Trail. Moving forward, the design of this project is in progress and is anticipated to be complete in fall 2022 at a cost of $12,049. The improvements will be constructed entirely within the existing right-of-way and therefore will not require property acquisition. And finally, construction has been funded for fiscal year 2023 at an estimated cost of $78,000. To learn more about this project, you can go to www.cflroads.com, click on the search icon, and enter the project number 9921002 in the search box at the top right and click go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by May 2, 2022, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following this meeting. To submit comments in person, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. 
Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 992100-2. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at richard.smith at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 562, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5326 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. In the state of Florida, 35% of all serious injuries occur at intersections. Target Zero is a statewide initiative to reduce the number of transportation-related serious injuries and deaths across Florida to zero. For more information on what FDOT is doing to achieve Target Zero, scan the QR code on this slide or visit TargetZeroFL.com. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by May 2, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 992100-2. Have a good evening.